What's up everyone? My name is Daniel and welcome to Harbor Bites. In today's video, I'm going to tell you three things you need to know before building your first PC setup. So sit back, relax, and jot down some notes if you want. It wouldn't hurt you. The first step is to pick a theme. You want to pick a theme or a template for your setup. This can be anywhere from a specific color pattern or maybe you're a minimalist and like things very clean and minimal. There are a couple ways to decide your theme and if you're not sure what theme you want to pick, I have two quick tips for you guys so you can find out what theme works best for you. The first thing like I mentioned before is color. So you, your setup can be a specific color pattern like do you want it white, black, green, blue, yellow, orange, magenta. You get the gist. There are a multitude of colors to choose from. So I would suggest go ahead and picking your favorite one and starting off with that. The next thought is what you want it to be surrounded by. So do you want to be a minimalist and have things very clean and have very little clutter on your desk? Or do you want something like RGB here, RGB here, RGB there? Just RGB everywhere. It's honestly all up to your preference. I've seen some setups go as far as do like a jungle plant theme. And then I've other seen other setups that go complete opposite and do like a sort of awesome futuristic RGB crazy kind of vibe. But after you figure out your theme, the next thing you want to figure out is your budget. This is a pretty straightforward topic, but when you decide on your budget, I want you to do one thing for me. I want you to create a budget without your PC included in it. This is because nowadays, most of the good PCs out there are like $800 and up. Another thing you can do is divide your budget into categories. An example of this would be to put $300 in a peripherals category maybe $500 for a category involving monitors, and then $200 for a category possibly involving accessories. This isn't mandatory, it's just something that's nice, especially if you're an unorganized person like me and you need to look at a list of things so that way you can verify your purchases. Now that you've picked out a theme for your setup and you've set up a budget, it's time for the third and final step of this process, which is the planning. This is where you are going to start doing your research on the items you want that are in your budget and also match the theme of your setup. See how they relate? Now don't get me wrong, planning your gear is not the only thing you can do for your setup. You can also start by planning the location of where your setup is going to be. You can put your setup in your room, in a spare room, or even in your garage. If you are the person who's gonna game in your garage, I'm warning you, it's going to be hot, very hot. I hope you got AC. After you found that place to put your setup, you can go ahead and start taking measurements for the desk you want that matches the theme. Please don't be the kid that grabs the folding table from your mom's garage. It's not a good table. Get a good table from Ikea or if you don't have an Ikea, just get a sturdy table that you know can support your PCs, your monitors, your peripherals, pretty much anything that you are going to physically have on the desk. And if you don't have your PC on the desk, I really hope that you have it on something other than the floor so it doesn't get dust. And I know I've already repeated myself kind of a lot in this video, but please make sure to do be conscious of your budget and your theme for this setup. I personally did not plan or follow these steps that I'm telling you right now. And I honestly regret it because now I'm at the point where there's things I want to add in my setup and things that I want to make it look better. But the colors are kind of all over the place and the theme isn't exactly there yet. So it's just making it more difficult to actually buy and get the products that I want to get because they're not going to look good in my setup with the theme I currently have. 
with all that being said it is unfortunately the end of the video if you did enjoy this video me please make sure to like and subscribe it would really help out the channel and if you subscribe you get to see more content from me also leave a comment down below if you like the video and also let me know what the theme for your setup is i'm always interested in seeing other themes because i think it's just a great way for people to get ideas all right it's time for me to head out of here i will see you guys in the next one adios